Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. It's Sally from Sally Stampers. Today I'm bringing you uh, the a project for my um, coffee break week showcase. Um, as you may be aware, this week I'm making and bringing you projects using the coffee break or coffee, coffee cafe um, suite. So I have the lovely stamp, I have the lovely framelits, we have the DSP, we have lots. So this is my project today. Now I cannot take ownership of this project. This was, as far as I'm aware, designed by the lovely Pootles, Sam from Pootles Papercraft. Um, a little while ago we went to Birmingham to a training weekend and this was one of the little projects that we made. Now when Sam got us making these they actually had two tea lights inside and I'm just going to reach across my camera here and ours had two tea lights in which are beautiful perfect little gift which you can use as you know favors or table gifts etc um, and I thought yes I quite like that idea and seeing as I'm doing a coffee week showcase I thought I'm gonna have to show this little gift um, however I'm not using candles in this one I'm using good old vodka so yes, I went down to my corner shop and picked up these cheap, cheap version vodka bottles. Now, I did buy the Smirnoff, but they didn't fit in this bag. And the idea of using this bag is because you use a sheet of 12 by 12, uh, 6 by 6 DSP, which means that you can get four out of a sheet of 12 by 12 DSP. So they're really handy for, like I say, wedding favours or table gifts or anything like that. Thankfully, it's my husband that drinks the vodka, not me. So I thought, well, even if I... So he's already drank the Smirnoff ones. <laughs> and I thought, well, I'll try these ones. And if these fit great, if not, then he gets two more little miniature bottles of vodka, which he's quite happy about. But thankfully, these fit perfectly. Um, and I think that if you wanted something a little different for your guests at a wedding or a party, you know, if it's a special 40th, 50th, whatever birthday party and you want table gifts, you can use this sort of bag. Now, I've gone with the coffee because that's the sweet I'm using this week, but obviously you could use any pa paper that, co that we have that coordinates with whatever you're doing. But anyway, enough rattling, I'm gonna show you how I made it. So like I said, you need a sheet of DSP that is six by six. This is the Coffee Break DSP. So it is, uh, it is all keep, keeping within, but as I say, this lovely pattern means that it can be used for anything. It's ideal. No, I don't need my trimmer. Pay attention, Sally. So, scoring board is what I need. And if you're using patterned paper as I am, then you need to make sure your patterns go in the right way before you start scoring. So, with my pattern going the way I want it to for my bag, i.e. like this, then you need to score at one and three quarters, two and three quarters, four and a half, five and a half inches, and then we rotate and we score at one inch. Take that out of the way, and as we do, we're going to score, uh, sorry, fold and burnish those score lines. And like I said, these are relatively quick and easy to do. Um, I mean, if you're confident enough to do the scoring, you could always get someone else to do the folding and the burnishing and the cutting. It's not that hard, is it? So, so there we have it, all of our score lines done. And then we just cut our bottom pieces as we do. And then we cut away this little one in the corner here. Get rid of that. And then I'm just going to use snail because we're using DSP and it is obviously quite thin and it's not heavy. Then I'm just going to use my snail, which we run down the side there. Fold it over and seal it up. And then we can close the sides and the back and then do our front bit last. And then I'm just going to get my bone folder in there and press that adhesive down. Pop my bottle of vodka in, which just fits perfectly. 
and then just squeeze that top together. Then I'm going to grab the Whisper White Sheer Ribbon and I'm going to wrap it round from top to bottom. I've probably given myself far too much there. Wrap it round from top to bottom, ensuring it's in the centre. Then let's cut that bit off. Then cross it over at the back and pull it, which will ensure that the top closes. And I guess you could use any miniature bottle really, like I said, you wouldn't necessarily have to use vodka, you could use anything. I don't know if you can get sort of whiskey in a flatter shaped bottle, but certainly the miniatures that are round just don't fit at all. It's just not happening, don't know why, but it just doesn't work. So as you can see there, I've gone from top to bottom, crossed over and then done the sides and then obviously made my bow, trimmed my ribbon and then we just need some, I mean you could leave them like that, you could add your own little message but obviously I need to put my little pattern on and I've not got my whisper white out which is hopeless of me but I've got a bit spare at the side which is good. So this one's a little thinner but it doesn't matter um, so I'm going to grab my stamp set and I'm just going to go with this Life Happens Coffee Helps. I'll grab my C block and I did that one in Garden Green because it coordinated with this Garden Green in this DSP but obviously this one is, I want to say pool party, let me double check on my DSP. I don't know if you're aware, on the back of your DSP, obviously where it tells you your name of your DSP, it also gives you a list of the colours used and no it's soft sky, I thought it was pool party but it's not, it's soft sky. But I don't think scoff, scoffed? soft sky will show up particularly well on that label but I am going to put this little uh, coffee cup in the corner the same as I did for this one so I'm going to pick up the colours out of that one and I think I'm going to use crumb cake because I think that will look nice so I'm going to grab my crumb cake ink pad and I'm going to stamp which I don't think this is going to fit is it oh just so just stamp that on there that away and then I actually need to trim a little bit off the top of that just a fraction that's better and then a length of linen thread which I just want to wrap around the top and again add a little bow which is always fiddly with the linen thread because it's so thin and I'm actually going to leave that because I quite like those long tails on it. Corrugated elements, there's so many different shapes in here I think they're lovely. I think I'm going to go with this one this time which is like a little label and I'm just going to pop that, that bit out because I don't want that bit and I think I'm going to pop this one on with a glue dot So I'm just going to, and I think I'm actually going to tuck him under the linen thread. Now this lovely little coffee cup, I'm just going to pop some dimensions on this while I talk. And this little coffee cup is lovely because not only is it part of the DSP, bring my DSP back in, it's on the sheets of the DSP, it's super cute, there's that one and that one two different patterns, I'm not sure if there's another one, I've not really paid that much attention to it. Yeah, just the two there. But the good thing is that with the delightful coffee, coffee cup framelits, there's actually a die supplied that will cut him out perfectly. So you don't have to fussy cut, you can use your dies. Now, I'm not going to use them simply because Firstly, not everybody will have the dies. Secondly, I want to show how easy it is to die cut, uh, to fussy cut this out because it's all straight edges. And thirdly, I can't bother to get my big shot out now. It's too hot today. I don't know about you guys, but while I'm filming this, it is really, really warm. 
and I'm sitting here with my window closed because as you know guaranteed every time I do a film a lorry or something happens so the window's shut and I'm extremely hot so as you can see very quick and easy fussy cut him out he will look just as good die cut and then just with a little bit of snail just stuck him on and then take your backing off your dimensionals oh silly me look I've put them the wrong way round they should be that side and that side so that they don't sit on the ribbon never mind nobody will know and then we just pop it on and again be mindful of your bottom keeping everything level stick that on there and there you have it two lovely little favours and like I said these would be ideal for any kind of table decoration or even as a little Christmas gift you could make them up with Christmas paper anything really they're just super cute easy to make it's taken me shall we say 10 minutes minus all my waffling maybe even less and you have some really cute little table decorations that I think anybody would be happy to receive whether they have candles in you could always put candles in them for females and vodka in them for gentlemen who knows you could do any and you could even put sweets in them for children they're just perfect hope you've enjoyed my project or should I say Sam's project Poodle's project thank you very much Sam I know she did give us all permission to use these in our um, in our business as it were so um, as I say I'm bringing these as part of my coffee uh, break week um, and I hope you enjoyed them hope to see you all again soon bye